Wanted to do a video on the uh, Superdux casual uh, jacket from Carhartt. It's in their extreme uh, warmth category. And I'm a fan of uh, their jackets to begin with. Um, I own a uh, Bartlett and I, I love the Bartlett. And I love the Bartlett, but it's just a little bit too big and baggy for me to kind of wear out casually outside of work. So I wanted to go with this thing and I got this on sale. It was a hundred and seven dollars on amazon and i'm pretty sure it's because of the color because i don't think anyone wants that color um but i liked it um but I, i'm i was confused because they have 38 jackets uh carhartt and i'm like what what do these all mean that was they look similar you know um they've got uh different warmth ratings and you know when you buy one you're like what are you getting all right so with the super ducks with this jacket with the extreme warmth um traditional style jacket this is what you're getting and, and i like it it is a warm jacket but it's comfortable and it's also much much lighter than the bartlett and i do love the bartlett all right so let me start up top so your hood is um this is what i really like about this hood so check this out they give you this like 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 rim of a hat here and i can feel the the uh, string going through it so I can easily grab this and just pull it over my head and it stays there. And then I get some rain defense here with this like little lip that sticks out from the hood that the Bartlett doesn't have. So I do like that. So if I had to compare that to the Bartlett, I would give, uh, I don't know, I, I would probably give the advantage of this jacket. Um, it has the same locking system inside here, which I love. So when you want to pull these really tight, you can just crunch down that hill, that hood on you and just get it really uh, close to your face for the wind resistance. And then when you need to release it, you just press that button and expand it and it opens right up, which I really liked. Uh, one thing I definitely like about this jacket compared to a more traditional Bartlett is the neck protection. Um, this goes up higher. Like I, I love the Bartlett, but on the neck on a Bartlett, this is all you're gonna get. It's just gonna stop right here. It does expose your neck, so I do like that portion of it. Um, love the pockets. So if you're into Carhartts, you know about the functionality of the jacket. So check this out. Um, you have one pocket, two pockets, um, three, four, five, six in the front, and they're big. All right, so you come over here. They get Velcro, which I'm not super thrilled with, but my hands are huge. And this pocket, this pocket goes, honestly, it goes down to about right here. I mean, so you could fit a ton of stuff in that pocket. Um, you want to toss your cell phone over here. It's got a zipper on the side. This will fit right in there. It's a good size pocket, which I like. Right here, same deal. You're going to get a big pocket in there, big pocket. And then you're going to go to the side pockets. This is a little different than I'm used to with Carhartt. So they put a snap there, which I do like. I like that because I didn't have that in the Bartlett. But there isn't a lot of room in here. Um, they do give you that little protection lip right here. So you get a little bit of a, a ramped up situation where you know, your keys, if you drop them in there, at least they're not gonna jump over this and fall right out. And plus you can lock them with the button. I do like that. Um, I wish that the flaps, I wish they did have maybe some buttons. Um, so that would probably be something that I would be like, uh, did they take a step down in quality with that? Not really sure. Um, but that's that's something I did notice. Um, then if you go inside here, same thing. Um, the protective coating over the zipper on this jacket, they give you the Velcro. So it's definitely much more streamlined than like, let's say a Bartlett or, you know, the traditional, you know, cotton duck. You know, where there's more of a work look to it. And this is more of a casual look, I think. So that's, it is different. Um, but we'll see how that holds up. The zipper itself is also different. It's got that plastic kind of feel to it and look. And I'm pretty sure it is plastic. Um, and then you get a, the metal part of the zipper. So it's more like traditional style where the Bartlett is got a nice, uh, give you a nice metal zipper on that so i i love i do like the zipper on the bartlett all right then you come inside um to the jacket i am about six one 
250 pounds and I got the extra large on this one. And this thing fits me really well. The Bartlett, I went double X and it's it's a little big, to be honest with, with you, it's a little big on me. Um, but inside pocket pockets on this, um, we have one on this side, Velcro, not a super huge pocket, but it doesn't matter. I mean, they give you uh, six pockets on the outside. Do you, so you, do you really need the inside? I kind of doubt it, um, but that's what you get on the inside. And if you look up here, it says uh, rain defender, right? So what are you thinking? Are you thinking waterproof? Or water resistant and it's water resistant it's very hard to get waterproof like full waterproof so let's talk about the uh actual material because it is it's interesting right it's it's 97 percent nylon three percent spandex whereas the bartlett's cotton duck cotton right this is um different material so it's different weight it feels much, much lighter than the Bartlett jacket. Um, it's definitely, even though it's a big jacket and it's super warm, it's extreme warm, it definitely has a more streamlined feel to it. It definitely has less weight to it, uh, which is something I like and, you know, for what I'm going to be using it for, which is not so much like rolling around the dirt and that. So it's more going to be like, you know, like going out to dinner type of jacket something like that you know something a little more i don't know user friendly where i can just you know let's go out in this thing and look okay i'm not saying i'm like a fashion state like dua lipa is not going to probably ring your doorbell and come on in and go and use your intex blow up pool but it's still decent looking so it's decent um all right so they add the three percent nylon to this I'm sorry, the 3% spandex. And they sell this as like a flex. Like, oh wow, it's flexible. And I think Carhartt did a great job kind of jumping on the marketing train on that. Because if you make something in nylon, it's generally it's generally um, woven into, um, like you need to add spandex to nylon. Let's just put it that way. So most of the things that you buy, they have nylon, they are including spandex in it because nylon is not going to stretch much. It's like a ratchet strap. It's not going to move much. Uh, so you need to, uh, you need to add that, um, spandex to it. So 97% nylon, 3% spandex, and it gives you a little bit of flexibility to it. Okay. Which I found to be interesting. All right. Then the waterproof or the water resistant, where it says that rain defender, right? I would not suggest this. I wouldn't suggest you going outside and working 12 hours a day in a torrential rainstorm in this thing. I mean, it's going to repel water. It's going to have your raindrops, you know, fall off your sleeve, but they spray it with a durable waterproof DWP coating. So it's like when you go and buy a pair of boots that aren't waterproof and you treat it with a spray. I mean, it's only going to last you depending on how much you actually use it and, and what you use it for. So if you're using it for like heavy duty work and you're always scuffing the sleeves and everything else, and you get a lot of sand in there, um, you're going to wear out that coating, but that is okay because you can then treat it again if you want to, but it's not like they're taping the seams and it's not like they have a liner in here. That's like fully waterproof, but it's breathable because it's not fully waterproof. If this thing were fully waterproof, this thing would be hot. I and mean, this thing would be, uh, this would be like living in the oven. And it, and it already is a super warm jacket. So, um, but it's water resistant. Okay. All right. On the sides here, um, they give you these zippers on the side. And I, I didn't really know what that was for. I'm like, what is this for? Like, they give you one on this side, right? And then they give you one over here, another zipper. And they, the zippers look a little flimsy to me. And I thought to myself, okay, if I, you know, zip these things open, am I going to destroy the zipper? And then next thing you know, I, I just like, I do a half zip and then I just stretch the wrong way. And then bang, I just blow this thing wide open. And now I get this flap running around. Uh, so I think my plan is going to be, I'm just going to leave it zipped. Um, just leave it and see how durable it is. And then as I go... I'll make those decisions, but you know, it'll give you a little bit more room if you're working and you're swinging a 
swinging a hammer, and maybe you get a tool belt right here. I guess it could be somewhat functionable. Um, I like the fact that they kept this portion of it. So the back of the jacket, it's got a little bit more length in the back. I do like that. Um, I like some of the details too. If you come up here into the hood, they give you um, your, your um, laces here, your strings, and they loop it right behind this little elasticy kind of hold down. So you don't have your, um, your strings flopping around and getting caught in your zipper, kind of like that. Um, but let me just tell you what it feels like to wear it. Um, it is warm. It's definitely warm and it feels different. It feels different than my traditional, you know, sharper lined uh, jacket. Um, it feels much, much lighter. And the inside is a quilt lining. And I'm not sure how I feel about the quilt. I'm not, I love that sharper lining like that. That just was like comfortable right right away you know like you know when it's freezing and your hood's getting a lot of cold air in there well this material doesn't feel quite as i don't know um comforting as that sherpa lining i love that sherpa lining and although it's 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 extreme warmth um i don't really notice any huge difference um, between this jacket and this one um but this one's much much lighter and it feels less bulky. All right, but anyway, I'm 6'1", 250. Extra large fix, fits me fine. i um, got plenty of room. It's not too uh, snug across the chest and shoulders. I mean, it fits, it fits pretty good. It fits really good. Um, I like the jacket. Like I said, I paid 107 bucks for it. Thought that was a reasonable deal. They still give you that nice storm cuff there where you can, where the wind's not gonna go flying up your sleeves and that just ruins your day. Oh, and one other thing too. Like I said, it doesn't feel quite as substantial as the old style Bartlett, right? So I go, ah, what does this mean? All right, so check this out. I wanna do like a little bit of research on the um, the material itself, the nylon, because they tell you it's 7.75 ounces of nylon. And I'm like, well, what does that mean? All right, so that's per cubic yard. That's the weight, okay? Now, because of that, you can break down the thickness of this if you, there's a chart online. So this is roughly um, 15 to 16 thousandths of an inch. And I thought, that doesn't sound very thick to me, right? That's what I thought. And I looked up thickness of materials. And evidently, that is very heavy weight when it comes to materials. So because it's nylon, it just feels lighter than a cotton. So it's a different feel but it's very um, thick material, even though it feels lighter. So um, I thought that was kind of interesting. Uh, but yeah, um, oh, 100 grams of um, thin slate inside too. So you get your 3M, it's 100 grams of thin slate. So it is warm, um, it's lighter, it's a little more streamlined, it's a little maybe better looking like i said i doubt dua leap is coming to your house but it's something you could probably wear to a restaurant without knocking every table over like i do in this thing this thing i could wrestle a grizzly bear in this thing and the you know it tear off my head and my waist down but I, I might survive in this part of it this thing is so thick and heavy and i love it um but yeah this is the super ducks um good jacket nice and warm reasonably priced like i said i got it for 107 bucks i didn't think i could beat that um, thanks for watching.